What's going on, YouTube? Fulton and Dylan here. How's it going, guys? And today, we have a wonderful video for you guys. We're going to be going over some of the top selling devices, and our opinion is also the best quality ones for the categories of best external mod, best pod system, best internal battery device, and also best tank. So that's four. Four categories. All right. So where do you want to start? So uh, let's start with the pod systems. We'll, go, we'll start small and work our way up. So with pod systems, we saw a lot of new pod systems in 2018. They definitely started to really uh, catch their stride, if you will. And at first, I'd have to give it to like Aspire and Vupu with the Panda. But towards the end of the year, or midway through, Smock killed it. They came out with two new devices, and one of these, the Nord, gets our vote for best pod system of the year. Absolutely, and the other one that we're talking about is the Smoktech Novo. Mm -hmm. uh, both very similar. We just prefer the, prefer the Nord over the Novo, uh, just because one, you have more juice capacity in the Nord. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, changing coils is still easy, but you get different options other than just the Nord pod or Novo yeah. pod. Uh, this one, you change the coil right down here, pull it out, put a new one in, call it a day. And it's super easy to change the coil. You literally just push it in. There's no twisting or turning involved, right? Uh, and for me, the reason I chose this one is for uh, actually a couple reasons. The biggest one was for the price of what you're getting. So normally devices like this would range anywhere from 45 to 50 bucks mm -hmm. on average at most uh, most retail stores and here it's forty dollars and what you're getting with it is just insane on paper because when i was first looking at it i was like well i'm not big into pod systems but on paper this looks pretty incredible because you get a mesh coil option you get a, a 1.4 ohm coil option so you can run salt nick into it so you already have some versatility there but the real selling point for me was the 1100 milliamp hour battery oh i've charged this thing like Four times total since I've had it, and I've had it for quite some time now, two weeks or the, so. The battery on it is insane. There's only really one other device that has the same, or two really, that have like the same, or close to it, the same battery. And that's the Vupu Panda, which has its upsides, right? Because you get the five mil uh, pod in it, which is a little bit more than the Nord, mm -hmm. and you same size battery, but no mesh coil. But it's also five bucks more, which is why I say the Nord wins it out against the Panda. And then you have the Breeze, which is um, 45 as well. The Breeze 2. Breeze 2, yes, to be specific. The Breeze 2 from Aspire, and you have the 1,000 milliamp hour battery, so comparable, not really much of a difference there, uh, but you have a couple of inconveniences with it. So you have a relatively similar mouthpiece with the Nord, so that's not much of an issue, but you have to screw coils in. And for Also, to get to the coil. To get to the coil, right. It has that, uh, you have to actually take the top, the actual mouthpiece off, which for a lot of people, and it's been me included, yeah. uh, that can be a bit of a pain. Even me, like, I'm a fairly big guy, but sometimes I have to pop a yep. breeze, and like, if it's the first one, it's just like, Ah, and you try really hard and finally it pops off but even putting that aside you do get coil options which is something you have with the nord uh and you actually have three different coil options with the breeze but no mesh coil and that's the real thing that puts the nord over the breeze too in my opinion and it's cheaper so it's kind of hard to argue that the breeze or the panda really has the edge i mean if you really want to bring it down to like nuts and bolts maybe the juice capacity for the panda puts it and you know maybe you have a preference for that but that's about it. But enough about pod systems. Uh, the next top, uh, the next category I would think would be tanks. Um, yeah. And Dylan just had a preview of the tank right there. Oh but yeah. Like we said, we had a little preview of the uh, the tank that we're choosing. Me and Dylan and Charlie all use it here at the shop. It is mm -hmm. the Fire Luke Mesh Pro Tank. Yep. Holy cow. I, I don't even. I, there's no words to describe how much I love this tank. So reasonably priced in the $40 to $45 range, depending on where you get it. Mm -hmm. And the coil design for these guys is amazing. So Freemax for me has had like the lock on coils for a while now. Between the original Fire Luke Mesh, which is also cross compatible with the U-Force tank from Vupu, which already makes it awesome and it's mesh, mm -hmm. right? And then you have the Mesh Pro coils, 
which by design have an extra O-ring at the bottom of them. So this tank very rarely, if ever, has leaked. Right. Uh, at least for me personally, I know for you it hasn't leaked too much. It right? hasn't leaked too much, but that's me keeping a coil in for about two months. So, yeah, even this coil, I've had it in for four weeks now. Still haven't wow. changed it. <laughs> and the flavor is still relatively good, right? Yes. Uh, so my method of vaping, like usually when I get a new coil, I start off with a fruity flavor like mm -hmm. wild apple or something like that. And then I move on to a menthol later on. I Cleanse thought, your palate a little bit. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I, I hear you. you tend to get more coil life like that. But don't take it from me. Use whatever you want. Um, so Fire Luke Mesh Pro, when they first came out, you had three coil options. Uh, you had the single mesh, mm -hmm. which was eh. Single mesh coil was, you know, below par for me. Eh. <laughs> but they really saved it with the double mesh. Uh, the double mesh was really what got me and Dylan hooked on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we could run it at 55 watts, get amazing cloud production and amazing uh, flavor. And normally to get that same flavor, you'd have to run on, like, an RDA on... 100 plus watts to get anywhere close to what you were getting from the mesh pro tank right and then the third coil option was the triple mesh mm -hmm. which was nice if you like running a little bit higher than 55 if you, you want to chuck clouds the triple mesh was for you right absolutely but then they came out with the quad mesh a little bit further on in the year mm -hmm. and holy cow it's the coil i use it's the coil i use it's the coil my fiance it's got uses eight cotton windows on it like this thing just soaks up liquid right and it's you have you have four mesh coils just firing at once. Oh, Even this, so much flavor. This morning. So much flavor. I didn't have any juice in my tank, and I was driving to work, and I hit it. Oh, worst mistake ever. It gave me such a burnt taste. I thought I ruined my coil, but I threw some juice in it. Tastes fine. Now. Tastes fine. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. Fire Luke Mesh Pro took the tank of the year. It's right there. That's what it looks like. I would say it's only competitor would be the Horizon Falcon tank. Yes. And that's only because you get better coil life out of the Falcon. Uh, but the overall design of the tank, I think the Mesh Pro looks a little bit cleaner. It's, you know, it's tiny little. easy to fill. Super easy to fill. It's, it's small points at that. But at the same price point, the Mesh Pro just wins out a little bit. And it's also a little bit more popular. And so that's why I got our vote. Right. All right. So... Moving on to internal battery devices. Internal battery devices. I don't think this one is much of a competition. Not really, no. So if, if you've come into the shop before, you know we like our Vupu products. And it's because Vupu just does it right. Especially when like when the drag came out, like a lot of people loved it just because it was simple, convenient. Uh, mine's a little beat up. I'm going to put some vinyl on it, look brand new. But like, it's so durable. It's so good for what you're getting. And then they came out with the Drag Mini. And for whatever problems that the original Drag had, they fixed it with the Drag Mini and the Drag 2. Mm -hmm. The 510 connection's more centered. You have a more modern looking resin. It's made of carbon fiber, so it's way, way lighter, which is awesome. And it, they also got rid of the straight edges on the box. So it actually feels nice in your hand now. More ergonomic. Oh, yeah. Okay, pulling out them SAT words on me. Woo! Woo! I didn't even know you knew those words, Fulton. Very, very few, <laughs> but I do know them. <laughs> so the Drag Mini won our vote for the internal battery device for just pick a reason, and it's I mean, there. Battery life, uh, durability, the way it looks. The, the tank that comes on it, like a starter inside. kit. Inside. The chip on it, the, the gene chip fires in 0 0.035 seconds so this thing fires instantly now i will say there was a close contender in my opinion uh there's two the vupu mojo so another vupu product and the aegis mini so here's the thing though i thought briefly about the aegis mini or aegis mini whatever you want to call it and i noticed very quickly that it had a severe downside to it relative to the drag mini mm -hmm. but you're also paying a cheaper price for it and so that's okay uh with the aegis mini you're getting way less battery life almost half the battery life of the drag mini but it is half in size comparable it is very small <laughs> it is if you you know so tiny you want a tiny device that's going to fit in your pocket real nice that can get a decent tank on yeah and it's also got a great chip in it there's a lot of upsides to it 
but the battery, battery life. Oh, oh it's, it's the worst feeling in a world when you're having an internal battery device and your device just dies and you have no exactly. charger. And you're just like, ah! Exactly. The battery life is what brought it down for me. And with the Mojo, it's great. It, it, you know, it's a, it's a little bit cheaper than the Drag Mini, but it's cheaper for a reason. Smaller battery. Uh, I don't I don't think it has the gene chip in it. I might be wrong about that. Don't quote me on it. But it's a great device. Looks slick. But battery fit, life. Battery life. <laughs> this thing right? just has a massive battery in it. And that's why it wins. Yep. So that's three of the four categories. I'll just leave them all up there. Oh, we can do that too. Yeah, we'll just, see, we like we green picked, here. We should have picked more diverse colors. I mean, but that's a okay. black tank. <laughs> so the next one on our list is external battery devices. Mm -hmm. Now, we... I don't, know, I don't know if we agree on this one. I don't think we do. So, in my opinion, Age is Legend. Oh, well then maybe we do agree. Oh, do we do agree? So, at first, the very easy answer would just bring up another Vupu product. Right. Because they're all good. The Drag 2, same deal with the Drag Mini. It's just great. However... And it pains me to say this because I'm I, I have a drag like you know I'm biased towards them. The Aegis Legend, I was very impressed by. Holy cow! Yes. So if you haven't seen our durability <laughs> test, yes, you need to see it with the Aegis Legend or Aegis Legend. That is a huge standpoint on why I enjoy this mod uh, slightly more than the drag. Now. I say this for one reason only, and that reason is the battery door. I do not like this little flap here. Uh, one, because it happened to me, when I was throwing it around in the shop, the battery door bent. So now, whenever I have to use very certain batteries that like this device, <laughs> and I have to switch them around a couple times, but it finally does work. Uh, and that's my only complaint, because the drag, it does have a magnetic back to it. Convenient. You don't need the door. You can run it without the door and be okay. Uh, yeah, but with I this, wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> uh, but like I said, just because that bent a little bit, it gets kind of a bad note for me. But still, overall, it has a nice grip to it, whereas the drag is very square and boxy. Has a nice leather grip and it's water resistant. See, and though it's the little things that put it over the top for me, because I wanted to say the drag with every part of my being. That being said, I have to be objective here. The pleather grip on it, it's super comfortable in your hand. Yeah. It's shock resistant, it's just as durable as the drag for all intents and purposes, unless you're running it over with cars. But even then, like, why would you be running over your device with a car? Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, that's <laughs> common sense. But that being said, the grip is nice. It's water resistant, which is something that the drag is definitely not. It's a lot of metal. Uh, you know, it's got openings in it for water to get in. You drop it in water, yeah, right? You drop this in water, on average, you're going to have 30 minutes to get it out, which I hope you can get it out of your toilet in 30 minutes uh, before you have any damage to it. Yeah. And so it's those little things that put it over the top. The chip in it is as good, if not even maybe a little bit better than the drag. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like it doesn't lose any points on the drag on any category. And there's a slight custom ability. You can customize it a little bit. Uh, just, just a little bit. Uh, so right here, the screen, it usually comes with a stock blue screen, but you have three different colors on blue, dark blue, and red. Uh, so you can really make it match whatever you're running. For instance, I have a solid black thing going on uh, with a purple tip because I lost mine in... We're not saying because it's still a contest. No one's answered yet. I, I know what it is. You know, but we don't. Should I tell them? Uh, it's 2019. Screw it. <laughs> he lost it in Charlotte. Yeah, I lost it in Charlotte playing disc golf with Joe. Um, you remember Joe? He used to work here. But yeah. <laughs> I'm a dragon. Yeah. So where we end, we ended off there. Talking we were talking about why the Aegis Legend won our vote. And we were just finishing up with that. We'll say we finished it. We'll say we finished it. But anyway, guys, if you like what we do on this channel, please show us some love. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the and, bell. And the Don't bell. forget the bell. You need the bell. Ding. 
This way you are the first person to know whenever we post a video on YouTube. And you can watch us be funny and wacky and all that fun stuff here. Or if you have any questions about his beard, you can ask him in the comments below. Why is it red? Why is it red? Everyone asks the question. What you don't know, if you look back a couple videos ago, when I had hair, I had blonde hair. Yeah, so the top of his head is blonde, but his beard is red. Makes no sense. Nope. Like, this is... That's red. Ah, but check us out on Facebook and Instagram. If you're an mm -hmm. App State student, you get 10% off on everything except CBD. We are located in the Harris Tier parking lot of Boone, 240 Shadow Line Drive. Do we, you'll see Mad Babes, we promise. It's next to the Harris Tier, you can't miss it. Mm -hmm. We have We're a here. sign. And also, by the time you're watching this video, we'll still have the deal going on, most likely, mm -hmm. where this weekend from, was it, January 4th? To January 6th. To January 6th, you can get 10% off any of the mods that we just talked about. Including the legend. Including the legend. And on top of that, if you spend 50 bucks or more on a mod, you get a free 60 mil of pourable e-liquid. And that includes everything you see behind me right now. That's a, that's a, that's a deal. That's I, a steal. I mean, yeah. I only vape house juice, so. Same. But yeah, guys. We'll see you in the next video.